this is you. And growing up, you probably had some pretty distinct memories. I mean, for me, it was Ben 10, Ninjago, and for you, it was the Nintendo Wii. How do I know that? Well, because I remember whooping you at Mario Kart growing up. And using these pieces here, you could pretty easily build yourself a basically life-sized version of the Wii console, which is very similar to the actual version, as well as a Wii remote using some complex building techniques to build the iconic controller. With details like this yellowing to represent how old the console is, as well as all of the ports, the buttons, basically everything you could ever want. The plan is basically to spend the next few days building sets based on all of our childhoods to try and sell them to the biggest LEGO fan of all time. Because, I mean, LEGO's quick to build sets based on the NES, Bowser, the question mark blog, which, you know, <laughs> is pretty questionable if you ask me. <laughs> No. Which is when I stumbled across this sketchy website which supposedly sold the Lego Mario minifigures which we all desire so much. But I mean, would there be a scam, a rip-off, something even worse, or... I think there's only really one way to find out, which is of course, opening them. These were very expensive. Mario is such a memorable thing from all of our childhoods. I mean, there's so many incredible games that have been around for decades, so I know he's part of your childhood too. <laughs> These Mario minifigures are something that Legos refused to make, so finally getting them in real life was great. I mean, not only have you got Mario and Luigi, but also Wario and Waluigi, even Mario Maker and Balding Mario, because he didn't come with a hat. But while these things are pretty great, they don't quite capture the best Mario game of all time, which is of course Mario Kart. And that would be vital for impressing the mystery LEGO fan at the end of this video. So I needed to up my game massively. Alright, so I decided to go for this design right here, which I think looks pretty good. And I'm pretty sure I should have all of the pieces. Using these pieces, here, I started building my very own Mario Kart for these minifigures to ride in. I mean, hundreds of people have designed their very own, but obviously LEGO decided this would be far better. Cheers. But I thought that this would best represent the classic childhood memory of losing Mario Kart to your sibling and flinging the controller into the TV. It's a fond memory that many of us have, I'm sure, which now exists in LEGO, where we can throw a Mario minifigure into it and use it to take out the competition. Kind of like how I'm trying to overtake Playmobil and subscribers who have a combined 300 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. And now having the LEGO Nintendo Wii, it means that we can play this thing. I honestly think this looks so, so great. But of course, you know just as well as I do that growing up, you not only had the classics like Minecraft, Mario, or Angry Birds, which all already exist in LEGO, but also games so incredible that the mere mention of their name is enough to make a grown man cry. Games like Club Penguin. And I'm gonna build it in LEGO. I, I, I miss you, Papa. A staple of all of our childhoods, I mean, hopping on this thing, absolutely rocking the ski game, trying to make some friends, and then going back to your igloo to cry, which we can recreate in LEGO using only a few simple pieces. I mean, this design is something that we all grew up with. Like, for me, I always had tons of these little toy puffles who, for some reason, I, I would cut their hair and torture them. Sorry for that, lads. But now it exists in LEGO. An incredibly chunky penguin who's incredibly detailed alongside a LEGO puffle to represent the iconic memories from your childhood. I mean, I think this is great. Or you've even got other classic games like Plants vs. Zombies where you'd plant crops to destroy the invading zombies, which I also decided to buy in LEGO for. I'm actually kind of surprised at, like, how good these look. You've got this cone guy, cowboy man, bucket boy, bat boy, fence fella, and so many more. I mean, this game was absolutely incredible growing up and had such intense gameplay. Just, just hours of fun. Which can now be recreated in real life using Lego. It's day four, I think. I want to build some TV shows because growing up, I was obsessed with them, okay? TV growing up was just unreal. I mean, you had shows like Adventure Time, Regular Show, SpongeBob, Gumball, and so many more. One of my favorites, though, has to be Phineas and Ferb. I mean, these little guys getting into all sorts of hijinks and tomfoolery. Which Lego already made into a set, but if I'm being honest, I, um, I don't think Perry is looking too good. Which is probably why Lego decided to never release it. I love this guy growing up, and I know that many of you probably did too. So I had no choice but to build him in Lego. Now, break heads are some of the most iconic Lego sets, and having seen what this could turn out like, I decided to go with that design. Dooby dooby doo. Which means I now have this iconic character from my childhood in Lego.
Oops. But it's not an uncommon theme with LEGO fumbling classic sets from our childhoods and it would be imperative to make something great to impress the biggest LEGO fan of all time. So I had the brilliant idea to build myself a LEGO Omnitrix. Uh, what? Okay, hold on, let me just explain. This is the watch from Ben 10, one of, if not my absolute favourite TV shows growing up. I mean, I was always repping Ben Tennyson merch and even wearing his watch. A few years ago, LEGO actually made sets out of this show that weren't very good whatsoever and actually actually kind of known as some of the worst sets of all time. So I really had to make sure that whatever I built improved on that. This is the kind of thing that I really want to build. I mean, it's gorgeous. Now I wanted this thing to be actually wearable. You know, something that shows people my swagger because while the things I've already built are great, this would hopefully take people back to their childhoods where they'd wear something like this. And before long... Oh, hey guys, sorry, didn't see you there. I've got an Omnitrix. Look at this, I can choose my alien. Oops. And it just fits, like, literally perfectly. Honestly, I can't... I can't believe it. Bro. <laughs> hey, you talking to me? You talking to me? Yeah, well, talk to me now. I mean, this thing is insane. This thing not only perfectly represents all of our childhoods, but it's definitely something LEGO should genuinely make. All right, so I've just got something that's like actually pretty wild. Tons of LEGO Fortnite. Fortnite is a game from all of our childhoods. I don't care what you say. We all know that you've played it at least once. I mean, I was pretty cranked at the game, I can't lie, and the OG days were absolutely golden. Here, there were not only custom LEGO items like the Portafort, playing as maps, but also tons of unique guns and mini figures ranging from the default skins to John Wick, Bright Gunner, and just absolutely tons more. But to be honest, something was really missing. One of the best things about Fortnite back in the day was these golf carts, which you drive around in, do tricks in. It was the peak of childhood, which now could exist in LEGO. I mean, this is just so, so cool. I mean, now I'd spent the past week building up tons of these sets from all of our childhoods, and there was really nothing left to build. And now it was time to show them to the biggest LEGO fan of all time, to see what he thought of them. I mean, would it have been worth it? A waste of time? Completely pointless? <sighs> there was only one way to find out. Generic studs! It's me, Tommy in it. Big Lego fan. Don't believe me? Well, look over here. The Daily Bugle set! It lives in my room! I love Lego! Oh. Generic stud. The studmeister has asked me to react to some little Lego sets. Would I think these were cool if they were real? Let's us check an Omniverse watch from Benjamin 10. Um, yes, please. I could wear this. I could text girls on this What? No, no. I'm not single. This would be cool. Maybe it would hurt. The bricks would just dig into your skin. But you know what? This is a yes from me. No. No. No, I don't want a club penguin. No. This would not be a cool Lego set. Our childhood experiences were just nothing with Club Penguin. It's a nothing game for nobody. If you like Club Penguin, you're a nobody and you're gonna die. For tonight. Jerry Stud, have you sent this to enrage me? No! I do not want a Fortnite Lego car. What's next? More Fortnite! Have you sent me this video to send me insane? To in I must I must calm I must calm myself. I'm Calm down, come on, calm down. Generic stud hasn't meant to offend you as deeply as your house. That's sending you so much support, my Lego. Mario Kart Lego. Now this would be quite a nice little Lego. I would like it. The current Mario Lego, let's be honest, is just kind of ass. It's too blocky. I bought some and I never built it. I mean, this version looks cool. I like this. I like this. Do this Lego. Listen to the great generic stud, okay? Oh my god, that's... that's that's how you do Mario Lego, baby! The Goomba One Piece, the custom item mold for the hat. Oh my, oh my. A huge Tommy in it. W. Plants versus zombies Lego? Could it be the best Lego idea of all time? You know, it stood, you have impressed me greatly. You have made Tommy in it proud. Oh, a Lego Wii. That's just cool. That's just f***ing dick. That Wii has and that's all of them. Lego community, I am honored to be here. I'm a big Lego fan. Please make sure to subscribe to Gener Generic Should. All things considered, I'd say that this was pretty successful. I'll do a Lego thumbnail.